In today's video, I want to do explore WordPress.org's most popular theme, and that's the Astra theme. This is a theme that I've known about for quite uh, a long time. Uh, I know their range of products. I know they have tons of stuff out there, Brainstorm Force, that is. Uh, but I've never really used Astra on a day-to-day -day basis, nor have I used it on any projects. This video, I just want to explore some of the setup and install components of the theme and just generally talk about the theme ecosystem uh, from a very 50,000-foot uh, view angle, very broad angle. This website, wp-data-dashboard.com, uh, wp-data-dashboard.com, is tracking uh, the theme install base of themes on WordPress.org and giving you some numbers to crunch and kind of hypothesize on. So if we look at Astra at the top, and this is what really sort of alerted me to, to re-explore Astra and where they're at uh, with their product. Um, 10.6 million downloads. The active install count is just a rounded number coming from WordPress.org. I don't know when the next integer changes, right? So I don't know if it goes from 1 million to 1 million 500,000 to 2 million. It might even be 1 million to 3 million. I don't remember seeing any 2 million active installs with like plugins and such. Um, so I, I, I don't know where that threshold is. <clears throat> and it's pretty astonishing to me that 10.6 million downloads with only 1 million active installs means that a lot of people try Astra and don't like it, move on to another theme, uh, or it's being pre-installed with some other web hosting components out there in the world, and people are saying, no, I don't want that, even though you're giving it to me, I'm switching to something else. You see something uh, of a, like an indicator of that is the 2017 theme, uh, downloaded almost 11 million times with only 600,000 active installs. To me, that makes more sense. Hey, default theme came out you know, back in 2017. <laughs> so it has this high install count for, for such a long uh, time span. And then 600,000 active installs. Astra, you could make the argument because they've been around for a while, but also it is a premium product and one that you would think a lot more people would stick with, but maybe that's not the case. Let's go ahead and install Astra and just see what we get when we walk through it like an average user. I got my InstaWP account up here and I'm going to install the Astra theme. There are no plugins installed on this um, temporary site. There's Astra right there. I don't have to type it in. Click install. There's no plugins installed here and that's important because uh, Astra will install some plugins for you if you actually walk through the um, onboarding experience. So let me go ahead and click activate. Now put yourself in the mind of the last few videos I did and some of the WordPress ecosystem discussion lately around the Ollie theme. It's a full site editing theme. I've been covering it a few times here on the channel. A lot of people are like, hey, this is a pretty innovative um, onboarding workflow. A user goes through, they set their pages, it's clean and simple. And uh, there's a lot of that functionality in the theme where people said, you know, I, we don't, we don't know if that belongs in the theme or if that belongs in a plugin. When I click install starter themes here, what's going to happen is it's going to install a starter theme plugin into this uh, theme, and that'll start to walk me through uh, Astra's onboarding experience. What I'm getting at here is, and I don't want to sound like I'm too hard <laughs> on Ollie, but the Ollie theme is nice and it's clean. But my gosh, it's not like super innovative because a lot of these themes like Astra, like Generate Press, like Cadence, like Beaver Builder and Elementor have been doing these more robust onboarding workflows for quite some time. So let's go ahead and click on block editor. If you want to be, if you want to stay in the core of WordPress, I guess is the best phrase I can come up with, you're going to move forward with a block editor. Um, but Astra is prompting you to say, you know, how do you want to build your website? Do you want to use core block editor? Do you want to use Elementor and Beaver Builder? Both of these page builder plugins are free in the repo. It will go and scoop those out and install them onto your WordPress website for you. Um, and then if you have a pro license, you can just add those licenses after. But let's just stick with the block editor because I think this is going to be the most um, clean and efficient way to build your uh, WordPress site uh, without a lot of overhead. So let's go ahead and click that. It's going to ask us what type of website you're going to build. And again, sticking on the thread of Ollie versus the world, um, or any theme shop versus the world, especially versus Astra, especially versus Cadence and Generate Press and the, the well rooted uh, themes in the space. Look at all these starter sites. I'm just hovering over 
<clears throat> um, the category labels here. I'm sure there's some cross uh, pollination across the categories, but there's a bunch here. As you can see, uh, Astra by default throwing the premium tag up the top. This is a very common upsell uh, marketing practice. If I were to click on that, it's going to tell me it's premium. And probably once I go through to try to install it, it's going to send me off into a shopping cart hell. So I'm not going to do that uh, right here because I want to keep this uh, video as streamlined as possible. So if I'm an average user, I now have to say, okay, let me get past this premium stuff and let me get to a free theme. I notice though, when I, uh, and this may be because Brave is blocking it. If I go latest, it's not really sorting this business landing page. Here we go. Okay. So now it sorts it. Uh, pop, popular latest. And when I do latest, it just brings me back to this. Okay. So let's go business landing page. And I'm just going to pick this one right here. So let's just go with Outdoor Adventure. Click on that. And again, talking about the onboarding experience, um, just like Ollie sort of walks you through these these uh, questions, uh, Asher is doing it as well. You can upload your logo here if you already have it. It'll throw it into the logo section. Um, I don't have one right now, so I'm just going to skip and continue. I can pick the, def uh, the color scheme that I want throughout the site. This is a little bit of a core WordPress thing. Um, they introduced that into full site editing uh, a while ago. and um, But themes have been doing this forever. Um, so and I think customizer, customizer has been doing it forever. It just looks slightly different these days. I'm going to select that color set and then I'm go, I can just play with these different fonts. But, you know, it's nice. It's, it's giving the user uh, that site building experience in the front end so that you can actually see these changes uh, happening and you can see the decisions you're making uh, with the font types and the colors. So let's go ahead and hit continue. One last step, some more marketing stuff here. Uh, opt in for the newsletter and get some demographic data back. This is where things get a little uh, interesting, a little gray area where you can't uninstall the required plugins here. Uh, it, won't let you uncheck that. Uh, and if you hover over, it says plugins needed to import this template are missing. Required plugins will be installed and activated automatically. Uh, the semi sneaky thing here is yes, it's going to activate and install Spectra, which is their uh, page builder uh, pattern library plugin for WordPress slash Gutenberg. Um, it's going to throw in some other plugins there. We're going to see that in a moment. So let's go ahead and submit this and build my website. You can opt out of the customizer settings, the widgets, um, import content. Largely, everyone's going to do this unless you're a seasoned professional and you use Astra as the core of your, let's say, freelancer agency experience. So again, nice, seamless walkthrough of the onboarding experience. Innovative. Um, intuitive and it gets somebody feeling like hey i'm building the website that i wanted goes through does this little animated gif graphic here and builds out the website for us notice that they have the little spectra uh logo up the top and not just an astra logo just like everyone else throw some confetti in the air congratulations you're done uh, you can tweet this if you want or view your website it's going to drop you at the home page of your website with all of the place holding content that we were looking at so there's nothing here that is saying hey what happened to that starter template that I wanted? How do I build that website? And if we just go and edit the page, you can see that it has uh, imported all of the content right into your editor. I can go and go ahead and start to customize all of this stuff. Now, I'm not. This is not a how to build a website with Astra. I just wanted to give you an overview of Astra and just talk about Astra in the world of themes. Uh, because I saw on that top theme list and just talking about 2024, literally right around the corner, I'm starting to think, I'm starting to wonder and listen and react to the market of themes of how users, will users use 2024 theme um, as their core theme moving forward when you have Astra and all these other big names out there with so much stuff in it, will core WordPress themes be able to keep up? Okay, so we have our homepage here. Uh, you can see that the Spectra uh, settings uh, icon up top, and then of course the default Astra stuff up top as well. Then we can go ahead and click on the template kits button. Again, very similar to what a lot of these other theme shops will do. You have your pages that you can pull in for quick page building. You have your different patterns um, that you can pull in for building out different 
parts of uh, the website. All of this stuff is really cool. It's really nice that it's free. I like that you can switch between dark uh, and light patterns, although for some reason, maybe light patterns are not available and free. Might have to double check that. But dark patterns are available. You can go ahead and change those colors anyway once you put them in. And one of the interesting things that I've seen uh, Astra do, which I don't see a lot of other theme shops doing, is this like wireframe section. Um, I think that's really leaning towards the freelancers that, that are out there using Astra to build out and mock up sites really quickly with their clients. If that's you, I'd love to hear your take, your feedback on using Astra as a wireframing tool. So again, Pretty straightforward, pretty standard, just a lot of stuff. There's a lot of options, design options uh, in Astra, so kudos to them. Now, sort of buried the lead a little bit. Go back to um, the plugin page. You can see all the pages that it installed through the walkthrough. Let's go to the plugins page. And we'll see that um, it installed three total plugins. It installed the Spectra uh, page building plugin that we were just talking about. It installed the starter templates plugin, which was uh, what we activated at that little hero banner up top. And then it installed WP forms for uh, your contact form. And that's the sort of like gray area for me is, uh, well, not only do I work for gravity forms and think that gravity forms is the best form uh, builder for WordPress, but it also is just not you're not, you don't see it as the end user. Um, and it leads me to wonder like what other plugins are being pre-installed if I wasn't selecting uh, such a very basic uh, uh, th starter theme at the beginning. Like if I was doing something that was more e-commerce related or uh, donation related, would it you know start putting up a whole package of plugins that I couldn't opt out of? Um, it's a little annoying that you can't even see them when you go through that onboarding process. So a little gray area there, there, not a real fan of that. But at the end of the day, it's only installing two core plugins that you need. Uh, actually one, because you can get rid of starter templates if you're never going to change your template again, um, and you could stick with just Spectra, um, and it installs those two to get you uh, up and running. Let's just take a look at some of these Spectra options that I think are uh, quite interesting. And again, they have a little overview video and uh, direction to your knowledge base. So, you know, like comparing and contrasting against Ollie, uh, they also had videos in there as well. They also had do documentation built in. Uh, Spectra's doing the kind of the same thing, but it's just linking out to it on their website. Blocks and extensions, you can filter the different functions of um, Gutenberg blocks that are available to you or just blocks and you can shut these off if you don't want them. Oh, maybe I thought you could shut them off. Let's go core blocks. Oh, you can't disable any core blocks. <laughs> so let's go creative. Can't disable the creative button because uh, the button is probably core to the function. So we can go image gallery, star library, Lottie animations, marketing button, and you can kind of filter down, which is nice. I, I like that. Um, it's a nice it's a nice touch, especially if you're handing this off to a client and you don't want them to go crazy uh, with Gutenberg blocks and adding all this stuff uh, to their website. There are some things labeled pro. This is where you'd have to upgrade. Actually, surprising you can't go right to shopping cart hell by clicking on uh, the pro item there uh, or icon. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. So it's nice. It's clean. It's easy to read and it's easy to navigate. And I think that's, that's a nice touch. Um, if we go to the settings of uh, Spectra, a few things in here that I think are really cool. You can set up some of the default uh, content with. I mean, you could do that way back in the customizer with a lot of themes all the way back to studio press. Um, but it's just a nice clean interface and you can disable and enable some things that are, uh, that are defaults. I like this, um, trying to find it now site visibility. You can enable the coming soon mode or maintenance mode and select a page that you've already built to be that placeholder. Fantastic. If you're, um, a freelancer building a site for a client or a staging site, um, that's really cool. And uh, I really like that as, uh, as a former agency owner. They do throw in a pop-up builder inside of uh, Spectra, really just uh, trying to make a grab for that marketing type uh, person because eventually you start to build a website, you start to build, uh, start to grow leads for it, uh, e-commerce sales. Somebody says, hey, can I have a pop-up? Can I have a notice that floats up at the top? They're like, yeah, you, we can do that. You don't even need another plugin for it. We're just going to bake it right into Spectra. Um, and you can kind of build these pop-ups uh, right here in the uh, page editor. Uh, makes life kind of easy if you're building out a lot of sites, uh, especially with a marketing focus. 
That is Astra in about 15 minutes. It's my way of just taking a look at this theme. Uh, it's been a while since I've used it years and years and years ago. I used it maybe when it first came onto the scene, um, primarily with Beaver Builder back in the day. Um, I haven't really looked at Spectra. Um, so I'm curious to know your thoughts. Do you use Astra? Do you use Spectra? Um, is it a tool of choice for your freelance business or your agency business? How do you think it stacks up to these other full site editing uh, themes that are that are out there? Because that's part of the idea behind this site is to list this data Um he has a blog post somewhere else. I'll link it up. Uh, I'll link up the WP Tavern article in the show notes below. Uh, but he does talk about the decline in uh, block-based themes um, for these more full-featured themes like an Astra, a Cadence, uh, or just you know hand coding a site. So really interesting stuff. Uh, I think we're in this moment now where WordPress core, not just the team, but like WordPress as a whole, is really going to. This is a pivotal moment with 2024 and the perception of is a core theme going to be good enough, literally good enough <laughs> to compete against an Astra or the other incumbents um, as, you know, built using WordPress right out of the box without having to reach out to an Astra or another theme like this to, uh, to build out your websites. Really interesting year to two years ahead. Uh, for WordPress and either consolidation into core experience or continued fragmentation across the market. Comment below. Let me know what you think about Astra. Sorry for the long video today. So WP Minute, get your weekly five minutes, weekly favorite five minutes of WordPress every week. Go to the WPMinute.com slash subscribe. Grab that newsletter. Hey, join our Slack channel for as little as a $5 donation at the WPMinute.com slash support. Like the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want more. We'll see you in the next one.